Hello, I wanted to introduce you to uh, a little script uh, that I wrote that really helps uh, speed up and automate uh, much of the process for integrating Cisco's ACI into Microsoft SE VMM. Uh, so before I actually show you the script running, uh, let me sort of talk about the, the layout. So this is a PowerShell script, and you would run this script directly from the SE VMM server. Um, these, uh, this particular setup that I have is I've got the SE VMM server uh, in the same domain with two example Hyper-V servers, so Hyper-1, Hyper-2. There is a trust between them because they're all in the same domain. And this will be important in just a moment. So when you launch this script from the SCVMM server, the first thing it does is it will take user input and it will, it will generate a, a script and install it in the local search store of the SCVMM server. Then what it will do is using WinRM, it will go out and actually check for the presence of the required SEVMM agent or the Hyper-V agent on the respective servers. If it finds that they're not running, it will actually uh, uh, warn you and in, in the case of SEVMM, prompt you to actually install it. Uh, if everything is, is present and running, um, what it will do is it will copy the cert uh, to both the Hyper-V hosts in my example or any number of hosts that you specify in user input. And then it will also make a REST API call and log in to APIC and copy the certificate to the x.509 object in the admin account, which is actually required uh, for this integration to work. So let's have a look at the script running. Here I am on the SEVMM server, and I am going to uh, launch my script. This is version 2. It's a bit more streamlined, so let's go ahead and start it. Uh, and as we said, the, the things in green are all the things that the script will do, and it does provide some basic error checking for you. So right up front, it will ask you for all of the user input, and then once we've input all of that, it will go ahead and do all of the steps in sequence all in one big shot. So the first thing it's asking for is a password for the certificate itself. Once we have that, then it will ask you to input all of the general fields of the cert so that it can properly generate, you know, like the, the, the address, the location, the city, etc. Uh, so in this particular case, let's go ahead and put in an address, a country, uh, a state, um, a city, and an organization. That's done. Now it's going to ask you for the APIC credentials. So here we're going to go ahead and put in the credentials. And in this particular version, we, we hide all of the passwords for security. Uh, and then it will, of course, ask for the address or the fully qualified domain name of your APIC. Uh, then once we've got that, it's going to ask you for a comma-separated list of all of the Hyper-V hosts that you actually want this certificate to be copied to. And in my example, I've got two hosts, so we'll go ahead and type those in. Uh, and then what it will do is it will actually go out and check what version your APIC is running. And it gives you a little note to make sure that the installed agents on SCVMM and Hyper-V are the same version. It will then actually check uh, for the presence of the SCVMM agent on this local server that we're running the script from. Um, and in this case, everything is green. Uh, if it finds any older certs laying around from previous integration attempts, it actually does a favor for you and cleans them out. Uh, the last thing you want is a whole list of, of a bunch of certs in your cert store all named Opflex agent because you, you will never know which cert is actually active. So it cleans out any old ones and actually generates and installs a new one. I opted to show you the certificate output just as a, a proof that the certificate actually was generated. And if you wanted to check your APIC and make sure that it was the identical cert, you have that possibility. Um, so once it generates the cert, it will then log into APIC and actually copy it over. So that's already been done. And then it will check each of the Hyper-V servers to make sure that the agent is installed and running. And in this case, it actually is. It will then copy the certificate to each of those hosts, and then it will do a basic uh, uh, check to see if the connection status shows up as connected. And if it does, then you're in good shape. Okay, so let's actually see what happens if the SCVMM agent or the Hyper-V agent isn't installed and running. So um, we'll go ahead. What I've done is I've actually disabled the service on SCVMM and on one of the Hyper-V hosts, and let's actually see what happens. So we'll go ahead and launch the script. We'll do the same sort of information that we had last time, uh, just for sake of time. I'll very quickly, uh, you know, put in some information. Um, in this particular case, same two Hyper-V hosts. Uh, and here we go. So it's actually checking and it says here, look, the APIC uh, VMM service does not exist and we need to install it. So for the specifics of the SCVMM agent, um, 
uh, it's going to ask you for a location uh, of where that installer is. And what you can do is you can actually drag and drop it right from wherever it is here into the command line and go ahead and hit enter. And what it will do is it will actually uh, require a user interaction to go through the script. Um, and then you can go through and um, uh, repair, remove, change, etc. Um, as you know, it does actually require um, it does actually re require a service account to run. So I'm actually calling that out, and we'll say next. We'll say repair, and we'll go ahead and validate that install, and it will it will do whatever it needs to do. And then this what will happen is the script will actually pick right back up and go on to the next step. I should point out that this is not true for the Hyper-V agents because they're remote devices. PowerShell has a bit of a security kind of way of thinking to say it's not very, a, a good idea to actually launch an installer remotely uh, from one host to another because it breaks all kinds of security uh, philosophy. Uh, but we'll see what actually happens there. So back here, uh, we've got the SCVMM agent installed. It generates the cert and goes about its business. And now when it checks for the Hyper-V host, we can actually see that we threw a warning here and in red it's actually saying for Hyper-V host called Hyper-1 we don't have the agent installed or running. What the script will do is it will still copy the certificate anyway but it cautions you to go back and manually install and start the Hyper-V agent on that particular host. It then went on to check Hyper-2, it found the service running, everything is good and it went ahead and uh, finished up. Um, so that's the script. Uh, the next question is, is where can you actually find that script? What I've done is I've actually set up a GitHub repository where I've got a, a number of different scripts. So if you actually look for my, my name and you go into ACI tools, you'll actually see that I've got the integrate SCVMM version 2 PowerShell script here with a bit of a description on all of the things it does. So I hope you find it useful. Um, this is not an official Cisco script. This is just my own hacking about. Uh, so don't blame Cisco if it breaks.